Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here, and we are bringing you another Factions Let's Play. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry guys, I've been missing for the past couple days because I've been busy with a lot of my finals for school. So, um, a lot of you guys have been requesting a video on a MCMMO, like, skills tutorial, like, what do the specific skills do, um, how do they help, and, like, you know, just things of that nature. So, um, on the MCMMO server, you have access to slash stats, and it shows your, basically, your entire, uh, levels of all of the different skills that are uh, available on the MCMMO server. So if you do slash stats, you can see on the right side of my screen, you have like the power level, which is like your total of everything um, added up together. You have fishing, repair, archery, axes, herbalism, swords, mining, unarmed, excavation, acrobatics, wood cutting, and taming. So I think the most important ones that you guys should know about are probably, you guys should know about fishing, uh, you guys should know about axes, herbalism, swords, mining, and excavation. Everything else is not really too important unless you're into the, like the nitty gritty sort of stuff. So um, yeah, we'll we'll start. We'll go through a couple of these skills today. Obviously, not gonna go through all like 20 of them in one video. So I'm gonna go through the main ones that you will probably be uh, mostly using. So okay, let's let's start with uh, axe or not axes. Let's start with wood cutting. So my wood cutting is not very high because I normally just get the wood that I need from my actual kits that I get for donating to the server. But uh, wood cutting, what it does if you do slash wood cutting, um, it basically tells you the abilities that will be available if you have your wood cutting up to a certain level. So right now, if you look at your stats, I have a tree feller length of two seconds. And that skill basically makes it so that you have to right click to activate. See on the chat screen it says you ready your axe and that means it's ready to be activated. If you chop down, so for this skill on wood cutting, if you chop down the bottom most um, tree block of like a certain, like a single tree like this, it'll automatically just cut down the entire tree for you. So I'll show you guys what that means. So you'd ready your axe with a right click. Hold on, give me a second, it's freezing. So yeah, basically what it does, like it won't chop down the trees that like branch off into several different um into several different lengths, but basically if it's a tree like this, you try you try to find a tall one and you basically are gonna mine all that in one block. So I'm just waiting for the lag spike to go away so then I can uh tree fell this thing. And um let's see. MCMMO is a really diverse server just because of the fact that you have the ability to level up these uh, skills on your spare time. So you don't always have to be PvP and you don't always have to be, you know, um, grinding for levels. You're like, there's always, there's d different stuff to do. Alright, so I think, I think it's active. It's still lagging, so just give me a moment, guys. I apologize for the lag can't do anything about it at this point because we have not reset faction green yet if you guys have been watching uh, TCR's videos he said he said that we were resetting all of the faction servers but you get to keep all your items and yes we are still doing that but um, we are kind of just waiting for that uh, for that to actually happen on factions green so I haven't really been doing anything to the base all right so you ready your axe so if I cut this as you can see, it basically, oh, I thought it would cut down the whole tree. But it basically just cuts down like two or three of the blocks going up. I think it's just lagging. It's supposed to cut down all the way up. So basically, yeah, that's the tree feller activity. I don't really do wood cutting very much because I don't wood cut very often. So uh, another one is the shovel, which is excavation. So that, that basically, if you do slash excavation, you have different uh, abilities to... Uh, find stuff and with the giga drill breaker you know there's like three times you find three times the drop rate you know you you have the ability to dig for treasure so on mcmo like if you're digging dirt you have a chance to find like glowstone and stuff like that so um yeah i'll show you what what the so the special ability for this is basically giga drake giga breaker and it basically just mines or excavates really quickly so i'll show you an example of that so I, i'll activate giga drinker and then just how fast i go throughout the through the dirt it's just insane so as you can see look there's glowstone falling out of the uh there's glowstone falling out of the dirt as well as some uh, music discs and that's because of the giga breaker skill so basically you have a chance to look i even found a diamond 
and I'm, I'm only level 300 excavation I, I only excavate when I am actually digging out my base so yeah look this is how useful this skill is it's a very easy that uh, good rigger just broke off so look I found one diamond right here so excavation is a really easy skill all you have to do is break dirt and level that up to a high enough level and then there is a chance to find diamonds as you guys can just see right there I found an easy diamond and it took me like 30 seconds all right so um, another main skill that I'd usually go over is mining so if I do slash mining I have, I have a pretty decent mining level and you have I have an 11 second super breaker which is basically um, it's sort of like Giga Breaker, but it works for cobble. So, all right. So this is the normal speed that you break cobble at, or not cobble. This is the normal speed you break stone at. And if I, so as you can see here, I have a double drop chance of 49%. So if I mine a block, there's a 50% chance that it'll come up with two blocks. So as you saw right there, so there's only one block coming out of that one. Uh, let's see if we can get two to pop out. There you go. There was two that popped out of that one, and then it combined into one pile. And then so there's a nice mining is a really good way when you're especially when you're building your base like and you're building underground it's a really easy way to clear out large areas of space in a short amount of time so this is a super breaker so as, as I said this is a normal speed of mining and then if I activate with a right click you ready your pickaxe and then I activate it I'm literally mining it as if it were dirt and then you could just if I was making this my base look how fast you could just clear out this entire area right here so the higher your mining level and the higher your excavation level, it's basically um, the higher or the longer your right click ability lasts for. So since I'm like level 300 mining, I think I get like 11 seconds or so of this of this super breaker. And then like on the chat screen, it'll tell you when it wears off. And my mining skill just went up. It's almost 400 actually. So I'll probably plan on getting that sometime soon just so I can have level 500. And as you can see, it lasts for a very, very long time. Look how fast I cleared this room. Super Breaker has finally worn off. I cleared this room in literally like 30 seconds, guys. It's a very nice skill to get for you guys to use. I got a lot of cobblestone from that. I don't really need that too much, so I'm just gonna just gonna leave it at drop it over there. So another skill that you guys should know about is uh, fishing, of course. So if I go F home, I'll show you guys. Um, one of our fishing rooms and basically fishing is probably the best way to get um to get armor for when you are not well not well for when you're not but for when you are trying to um get armor like pro protection for armor without actually spending the time to get the levels so i'll show you what happens when you fish i'm pretty sure i showed you guys this in a previous video but i wanted to go over it again just because of how just because of how good like this this ability is so i'll grab one fishing rod here i'll fish you guys for a couple of seconds so basically um what you're gonna want to do is you make a fishing room if you look closely at my video this video this this v explains how to make this fishing room very simply oh this fishing room is actually broken because i was repairing it earlier let's see if i can put a sign real quick uh here and here all right Let's see. All right. So basically, if I fish out with my fishing rod, it's it's gonna take a while to get some loot. See, on the bottom left, it says treasure found, and then I have a series of dispensers or collectors. I forget what you call them. These these things on the bottom here, that uh, basically collect all the items. So instead of them going into my inventory, well, I don't have my inventory full right now. So th that first treasure that I found was a golden hoe, and basically, if you do this for an extended period of time, those items do add up. And you are allowed to basically repair those items and then get all the gold ingots and make some god apples. And then you also have a chance to get protection for armor. And all, of course, all that leads to is just getting ready for PvP. As you can see, I just fished this diamond legging right here. So I'll show you guys how to do... I'm gonna get, just going to basically finish fishing just a little bit so you guys can see what items are available. If I'm really, really lucky, I'll get like a protection four piece on camera. So you guys will know that fishing is very much worth it. Um, I think the server is lagging a little bit. That's why my fishing rod is acting all weird. Let's see. I'm just kind of waiting, guys. There's a fish. There you go. There's a treasure found. Another golden axe. All right. So basically, you get the main idea of fishing. Once you get level 600, you have the ability to mine 
uh, diamond armor and diamond like all of that diamond stuff so like protection for enchanted all of that so like when you start out you'll only be fishing like leather armor and like iron armor but as as your level increases you'll eventually get to the point where you're fishing all of the diamonds and all of these gold so I have a dump chest down here that basically has some of the stuff that I've been collecting as you can see we get a lot of diamonds from fishing and then we just make them into blocks and then we'll use those for like decoration later so I'll get uh, some gold ingots and I'll get some of this so I'll show you guys what another skill is available on MCMO so I got those three for fishing so basically if you do slash stats again there is a skill called repair as you can see my repair level is very high because it kind of synchronizes with my fishing and what basically what you do is See if I have anything to repair here. Oh, I have some stuff to repair that I was fishing last night. All right, so what you do is basically, so if I wanted to repair these golden axes, diamond chest plates, and, and stuff, I find an iron block, which my brother made this entire room out of iron blocks, and you're going to have the ingot of what you are repairing. So if I'm repairing diamond, you're going to need to have some diamonds, and if I'm repairing gold, you're going to need to have some gold ingots. So all you got to do is once you reach level 600 repair, you have a chance to basically re you, you repair the armor that you are right clicking onto the iron block so obviously for enchanted stuff like this like let's say if i was to try to repair this diamond bow there is a slight chance well a high chance that all of the enchantments will leave the item so i do not recommend repairing like re uh, enchanted items like go grab some levels from the fishing or grab some levels from your mob grinder and uh, repair your actual stuff that way but yeah, so say uh, so I fished this stuff just now, as you guys saw, and then if I have, since I have some golden ingots, I can repair everything just by right clicking, and then you can see it says this item is at full durability. So what happens is so these are all fully repaired now, and then all you have to do is set down this gold block. So I have a gold block set down right here, and you're gonna right click on that, and it basically turns the item that you are holding or salvaging. It's part of the repair skill, salvaging. You need level 600 repair to salvage into the ingots that it was used to make that item so from this diamond chest plate that i'm holding when i salvage this i should get i think it's nine or no eight diamonds so if i have six eight plus six is what eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i should have 14 diamonds once i salvage this diamond chest plate so if i click that you can see the diamonds just rain out and there you go 14 diamonds guys this is the easiest way to get some diamonds as if you have a high level of fishing and it's also an easy way to get gold ingots to make into god apples so as you can see i can just basically just keep doing this with all these items and they slowly just spit out all of these items and there you go there's some gold ingots we can make that into a god apple i obviously don't have enough yet i might have enough if um i had some leftover in the chest yeah i do so let's get that where's our food chest as you can see we've made so many god apples just by doing this method and let's get some apples make these into blocks get those blocks and i think we can make one god apple right now yep so there you go guys there is the first god apple i now have so i now have 16 wait is it lagging what's happening there you go i now have 16 god apples it's the easiest way to get god apples also to get protection for armor make sure you guys do that if i go to um that that's basically the two the the main skills that i do use another one that i'll go quickly over right before the end of the video is herbalism and um herbalism was basically what i used to um basically get money to get started because everybody makes a sugarcane farm in some point of their minecraft uh factions career so this is my small sugarcane farm that i made uh or me and insanity made actually and uh so what uh, if i do slash herbalism so as you can see there's a lot of different um perks that you get for leveling up your herbalism but the most important one is this double drop chance here which is i'm um, i'm about 500 herbalism and i have a 55 percent chance that there's a double drop so basically if i cut down this thing there is a chance that it'll drop more than just the two sugar cane that i cut down so as you can see it dropped four so that double gen double drop chance actually activated and um i was able to get four sugar cane in these two spaces that i just cut down so um if i do slash bell i have two hundred twenty six thousand right now i'm gonna farm my entire i'm gonna farm my entire um let's use a speed potion 
I'm gonna farm my entire farm over here and let's see how much money we can we can pick up from this. All right, so let's do this. And you basically want to cut down the bottom two when you're doing excavation. You, you're gonna want to cut down the bottom two uh, stocks because those are the ones that so you don't have to spend the time actually replanting the different um, like the very bottom layer. Just cut down the top two. You still get about the same amount of experience, and it, you know it just all adds up. So excavations are not excavation. Herbalism is a really easy skill to get up and obviously everybody will have to do it at some point to get started You know get that sugarcane farm and then get your basically your money your starting money that you need to play on a faction server I forgot that my inventory is full, so I'm not picking up like half of this stuff I'm just gonna drop a bunch of stuff over here um, Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, okay I need to pick up all the sugarcane that I just dropped so okay, let's just start. Let's leave it at that. So one, two. I, I farm three rows basically, or one, two, three, four, five, five rows. And if I sell the sugar cane, I think it's lagging again. So might as well just break this while we have a chance. But yeah, those are just some of the skills on the actual MCMO server. There's a, a huge variety of skills that you guys can actually uh, play through and get to uh, highing or raising your level up. So make sure you guys come play on the MCMMO server there's a lot more to it than just the normal factions there's a lot to do on this on this on this MCMMO server and if you guys actually want to play it's available on pvp.thearchon.net if you guys are subscribed to me and you guys are not aware of the server I play on make sure you hop onto that server uh yeah so this is basically it for today guys so my balance I think my starting balance was 226,000 I'm going to sell these couple stacks real quickly and now I have 231,000 so this small section of my farm right here was only was basically an extra easy 6,000 cash and you could use that to you know start up your base and all that good stuff but yeah that's basically it guys uh, thank you guys for watching sorry I have not had the time to uh, upload recently I've had some things going on also it is finals week for us college students so I'm focusing on all of my studies for the next week or so but uh, starting next week I will probably be live streaming a little more probably an episode every day if I have the chance to um, starting next Friday so uh, yeah I'm excited for that guys um, stay tuned for the live stream announcements I will be making short videos maybe to announce it or I'll just hop onto the server and uh, start announcing that I am live streaming so uh, for you people who want to for you people who want to watch those uh yeah there you go so yeah thank you guys for watching this video um i highly appreciate it if you guys would hit that like button and hit that subscribe button um this is d field and uh, this is it for today's episode guys uh thank you for watching and uh, we will see you guys